Hello friends, it's me Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, coming to you with some more pen paling ideas. Today I will be making tons of wax seals and wax seal embellishments and wax seal goodies for your pen pal letters. In today's video I will be using most of these beautiful wax seals and uh, believe it or not but all of these are new including this beautiful shaped hydrangea one which I'm pretty excited about. I'm again doing a collaboration with Crossfire. I've done this a couple times before. The principle is simple. They send me the wax seals for free and I test them out in videos. So I don't get sponsored to pay or do anything other than <laughs> to make these videos. Um, so the goodies I picked out are all individual stamps apart from everything that is on the black uh, gift bag because that was one set for stamps, a spoon and a handle which is a very good value. I recommend that if you are new to making wax seals. Other than that all of them were individual stamps that I picked out. I picked all of them up myself and I picked some um, beautiful ones I think you will enjoy as well. Of course, as always, I will link the ones that I have used and the ones I've got in the description box down below. Um, there will be special links, but it's not like you pay anything extra or I get anything from that. The only thing is I have a discount code, which you might want to use all of the information down below. Now, as promised, I'll be making a couple of embellishments and this is the first one. I am decorating a circle tag. I'm just using some paper scraps, some uh, stickers and a stamp to create a nice background. And then on top of that background, I will obviously be making the wax seal. I also used a paper, um, like a little hole reinforcer in the shape of a flower. I just die cut those myself already before the video. <laughs> um, and then I am, in this video, I'm going to be using different colors of wax from my personal stash, usually. And I like mixing and matching colors, so no real, uh, nothing special there. This is a wax seal I knew I had to have because it's um, an oval shape and it has like, you'll get a better shot quickly I promise you um, it's it has like some kind of a um, sunflower on it and a hexagon design I don't know why but I just really really love it this time for this video I have also taken some close-up shots so that you can either pause the video or just look at them as we go because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to see them while moving uh, while I am moving in the video the next one I'm making a little side shot, sadly, it was, it's not focused, but of course I didn't find that out until uh, I was editing the video. The wax seal I'm using here, I ended up grabbing a different one from the one I wanted to use because uh, I poured the wax a little wrong. So this is a bit of a, f I wouldn't say a faulty one. It's a happy little accident because it's also crooked. <laughs> I made a wax seal stamp. I was planning on doing a an oval one again but a, I ended up grabbing the circle one instead on top of a stamp I die cut myself uh, from a masterboard collage if you want to make a masterboard collage I will link that down below you can check it out very fun um, so this is a little bit of a mistake but I still think it looks quite cute it is a uh, like a glass um, how do you call those things? I always forget. Okay, I had to Google that. It's a terrarium with mushrooms in it. Um, looking at this footage right here, I actually realized that I must have misplaced this wax seal because I, I didn't take a picture of it. I'm sorry, you, you are getting a close-up shot, but I didn't take a picture, so it's just in the video. Um, I used um, a one by one paper scrap with some um, book page, <laughs> a torn book page and then a wax seal on top of it. It's very, very simple, but the effect is so fun and you can use this for decorating as well as for uh, a goodie for your pen pal, of course. Uh, for the next goodie, I actually used a large label stamp. You don't have to use the stamp, you can obviously also cut it into this shape instead of stamping it. Um, I will explain that in a second. What I'm doing here is something I also really like doing is I'm actually using eyeshadow 
or at least I think it's eyeshadow on top of a wax seal. You just kind of rub it in with your finger and it looks very subtle but very pretty. I don't know if it's very visible but this is a beautiful wax seal of a lady face with butterflies all around it and I really really like that. Um, then like I said I'm using labels for the next one. I simply stamped two labels kind of with the edges meeting i cut them out and i folded it in half so that you have a little booklet <laughs> it's that simple and what i'm doing is i am decorating the front with again paper scraps and two stamps and then a couple stickers and i will put a wax seal in the corner kind of as a um a subtle detail and this will in the end be my favorite project because i think it is so fun Mm. So I'm just grabbing all sorts of supplies I have from my personal stash to make a little collage. I'm sorry it's a little out of frame, but that keeps it <laughs> a surprise, I guess, kind of a surprise element. And I have, of course, not sent this booklet out yet, but I could do a couple of things, either write a message, a quote, uh, or a meal tag or something inside of it, or I could, of course, put something um, in the booklet like a wax seal or a wax seal a washi tape sample or something so i just mixed blue white and green for this wax seal and to kind of match the colors i was working with very sorry this is out of frame i was in the zone i guess <laughs> that's what happens and i used the one of the mini brass stamps i have they're a little bit more expensive than the regular sized stamps also probably because they're heavier and um, more expensive to send i think that might be the reason why but they are so detailed and i think it's really fun to add these as like a lovely little touch on your pen pal projects so um this is one that I, this is just an in-between wax seal a green one with a little message in a bottle <laughs> um absolutely adorable i just made this one in between because i had some wax left over in the spoon oops almost dropped it this is the little tag booklet as you can see it's just two labels connected um you could like i said cut this out as well I am so in love with how this turned out. I'm not trying to <laughs> toot my own horn. Still love that expression, but I just think this all blends in so well. Feels a little different from my usual style, but that's what I like about it. Um, the design, I also added some uh, makeup to it as well, like some eyeshadow. It's just two little leaves with some stars around it. Very subtle, very pretty. The next project is again a pen pal uh, pocket actually. I got this idea from Beck from Hello My Name Is Beck. I will try to find the tutorial if I can and link it down below because I made that off camera. It's just all you have to do is fold and then I added washi tape because I thought that was pretty. I am putting a little collage in the bottom left and then I will be putting a wax seal on top of it. The wax seal covers up almost all of my collage but I actually don't mind that because you still have these little details peeking out from the sides. This is another one I had to have. Uh, it has mushrooms. I've been looking for a pretty mushroom stamp for ages. This one has two mushrooms and some tiny ones, some leaves and then some crystals which I just think is very pretty. Um, especially for fall, but you know, I can use it all year round. This is going very fast because it's making me super angry. I got clear um, clear wax from AliExpress because I've been seeing people use it and I wanted to try it myself. This looks beautiful, but it's an absolute mess to work with. It's horrible. Um, it looks like little beads now, but once it melts, it's more like liquid glue. And it took me about five minutes to remove the the second stamp, f um, the second stamp from the stamp. Basically, uh, it took me about five minutes because it would not let loose. Uh, it was completely glued shut. I was so upset. I almost broke the little marble coaster, and I was really afraid that the beautiful hydrangea stamp uh, was ruined. Um, this is how it turned out. I'm so angry. It looks kind of fun, but I am definitely not going to try that again. Um, so if you're thinking of getting wax from AliExpress, do not buy the clear wax. It's a scam for sure. Um, 
it was pretty expensive, <laughs> so I, I was really angry. Next thing I'm doing is I am making a little belly band for a letter. I just wrapped some vellum around it, like a kind of see-through paper, and then I made a little button on top of it. Off camera, I poked some holes in the holes of the button so that it would look like a functional button. Of course, I could also put some string through it to make it look even more realistic. And that is uh, another quick little goodie I made. Then I'm making some dark blue ones to match the stamps on top of paper scraps. The one on the left is a again a message in a bottle and the one on the right is a message in a bottle. Kind of a theme going on there. <laughs> um, I tore, as you can see, I just tore around the wax seal to create a little collage piece I could use for decorating. I just um, decided to stick down the bigger one on top of a tag and add some washi tape dots around it because I just think that kind of makes it look more finished. So I will be either using this as a I've already said this so many times, decoration or as a goodie. I just think it looks really fun. Um, I also added some uh, silver, oh no, that's this one. I added some makeup to the previous one and I'm going to add some pen to this one. Some silver to the, uh, to the waves and then some blue to the bottle and the moon. As you can see, it's a little different from my regular color scheme, but I kind of like it. Then what I'm doing is I'm creating kind of like a collage paper tag. Um, I grabbed a tag someone had sent me and I added paper scraps to it. I held them all together with a an eyelet. So I used my crocodile to keep the eye to put the eyelet in place, and then I will be ah, can't talk today. I will be putting um, a wax seal in the bottom left. I'm doing also doing another um, tag, decorated tag. I'm doing lots of tags, but I just kind of felt like doing that because I felt like I had to do a successful hydrangea stamp because it's absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to show you <laughs> uh, a successful one. I also tried to do those cute little droplets all around it, but I failed around seven times. See, isn't that beautiful? I failed around seven times until I cut a couple parts out of this, but I realized, of course, I can just make the droplets on the marble coaster and then glue them down because I was destroying the tag uh, by trying it again and again and then peeling it back off. What I'm doing here is very dangerous because it's paper, but it works pretty well. I had some air bubbles uh, around the wax seal and I just melted them so that the air bubbles disappear. But please don't do this if you are... Uh, working with paper, I am just a little risky. So that is a paper crane stamp. It's very simple. Um, I'm gonna try it again. I'm not giving up. Uh, it's very simple, but I kind of like it. Um, like I said, I chose lots of very detailed designs and I like um, mixing that with the simpler designs like the crane. The crane was a part of the paper bird, was a part of the set I got in the black uh, gift bag. So then I realized I could just make the droplets <laughs> on uh, the marble coaster and glue them down, which is lots easier because I almost destroyed the tag. <laughs> and in the end, I really like how it turned out. I am here, I'm just pouring up close for you to see, uh, but the wax seal is going to fail. I think the marble coaster was too cold, so the wax dried or cooled down too soon. So I tried to stamp it and that failed. But the good thing about marble coasters is you can just peel it off and melt it again and start over. <laughs> oh, I'm talking so much, but I, I don't really have uh, time not to talk because I'm trying to talk you through everything that I'm doing. This is the last wax seal we're doing. Um, it is the... Um, I forgot the word again. 
the terrarium again with the mushrooms in it and what I did this time is I poked a hole through the hole because the terrarium has like a little hook on it if you look closely I poked a hole through that hook and I put some thread some golden thread to it to actually make a little dangly charm which is my last pen pal idea I really love this because you can hang it on a flip book or use it for closure of a flip book or I don't know <laughs> I guess you could do a whole bunch of things with this but I love how it looks um, kind of an interactive wax seal if you will so this is the last idea I'm showing you today I have dozens more of ideas but I didn't want to put them all in one video because I will be making another video in about two months from now so definitely check that out <laughs> when it comes out if you enjoy these types of videos or you want to see more wax seal pouring up close because I didn't really do that this time I have dozens of wax seal videos up on my channel that you can check out um, a big thank you to all of you for watching and of course to my amazing patrons for supporting the channel and I will see you again very soon I hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do leave it a thumbs up and all of that jazz and I will talk to you when I talk to you <laughs> okay bye